Hi, so in this video, we want to talk about how a uterine fibroid or a uterine myoma can affect a pregnancy and cause a miscarriage. And also, what treatment can we do to stop this from happening? So a uterine fibroid or a myoma can be found growing on the external layer of the uterus, the middle layer of the uterus, and also the inner layer of the uterus. If it is found in the perimetrium, it is the external, uh, it will be growing in the uh, outer surface of the um, uterus, which is very visible during diagnosis. If it is growing on the myometrium, which is within the muscle wall of the uh, uterus, we will need to use a different form of ultrasound to detect its presence. And then if it is go uh, growing inside the uh, inside the endometrium, which is within the uterine cavity, it is another form of uh, uterine fibroid that is more dangerous for the pregnancy because it is very close to the uh, growing embryo or fetus. So how does a uh, presence of this uterine fibroid affect the pregnancy? First of all, it uh, competes nutrients with the embryo or uh, fetus. It will sustain its own growth because at the end of the day, the uterine fibroid is also trying to survive and trying to live. So if it is very close, depending on its position, the closer it is to the uh, pregnancy or the embryo or the fetus, the more dangerous it is for the uh, pregnancy because uh, uterine fiber will actually win the competition with the nutrients depending on its size so especially if it's a large one it'll take up a lot of nutrients uh, causing and affecting the development of this uh, embryo and the fetus secondly it also causes blood flow obstruction so if there is not enough blood for the pregnancy to sustain properly it'll cause a stillbirth or early miscarriage because uterine fibroids will take up most of the blood flow especially if it's a large one or if there are multiple fibroids, they will all need blood flow, so they are competing. There's only so much blood flow uh, to go around. Thirdly, it also uh, distorts the volume of the uterine cavity. If it's, if it's found within the myometrium, it will also affect the shape. If it's growing inside the uterine cavity, embedded on the endometrium, it will also affect and warp the shape of the uterine cavity, and it also takes up a lot of space, especially if it's a large one or multiple one. So it leaves very little room for the pregnancy to develop. Can you imagine a small room but it's already very small, but there's other uh, components that is affect, uh, competing space with you. So it will no doubt cause immense pressure, which will cause a miscarriage. So for this type of uh, condition, we will diagnose this condi uh, diagnose using a laparoscopic ultrasonography to accurately assess the uterus, where is the uterine uh, fibroid actually embedded. So once we determine where it is, we will decide either to use uh, 3D laparoscopy or hysteroscopy. Hysteroscopy is used for uterine fibroids within the uterus itself, inside the uterine cavity, embedded on the endometrium. So these are the most dangerous forms of uterine fibroids because they are very close to the pregnancy. The further away it is from the pregnancy, the less uh, risk of a potential stillbirth or miscarriage. So if it is found growing on the external surface or the myometrium, which is the middle layer, then we will use 3D laparoscopy to accurately uh, secure and cut out the fibroids. So this uh, treatment can be done before pregnancy and also during pregnancy, although during pregnancy there is a significant risk. But we do not believe that the uh, hysterectomy, which means a removal of the uterus, for uterine fibroids is a form of treatment. A lot of doctors and medical institutions uh, believe that if there are uterine fibroids that are embedded too deep or too large, they will just recommend for hysterectomy, which is removal of the uterus. Here at Antara Hospital, our core philosophies and beliefs is that unless it is malignant or life-threatening, hysterectomy is inhumane and should not be a recommended treatment for patients. Uterine fibroids can be removed using hysterectomy hysteroscopy or laparoscopy, depending on the skill of the surgeon, can be accurately removed without affecting the pregnancy or even um, affecting the neighboring organs or the uterus itself. So I hope this video can give you an awareness about how uterine fibroids affect your pregnancy and what forms of treatment they are to treat this condition.